there are things that just don't belong together. Light and darkness. The wolf and the lamb. The lion and the deer. Fire and water. A son will never call his father's murderer dear friend. But the gospel of God's grace changes everything. In the gospel of God's grace, there is forgiveness. The reason forgiveness is so important, one, is that relationship does not involve two perfect people. Those perfect people don't exist in this earth. Our concern must be twofold. Not only what we do that is in sin, that is in error, but also how we respond. Because you need to forgive. You need to be forgiven. Tell your neighbor, I need to forgive. I need to be forgiven. You need to forgive. You need to be forgiven. God has written us into an unprecedented and revolutionary story of reconciliation in which hostility are destroyed. In which hostility are destroyed and enemies become friends. A generation of viper shall become a seed of saint. This is why I say the right knowledge of God settles peace. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 18 to 19 says, All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting men's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. The right knowledge of God settles peace. The gospel of God's grace can change, can unite anything, anyone, anywhere. To his power, nothing is impossible. This is the ministry of broken homes and reconciliation. I am Mrs. Mandy Patricia Fossong from Cameroon. And the family beside me is the Inca family. One great Monday, I was passing by their family home. I saw many people standing beside them. Then I asked, what is wrong? And they told me, this boy and the brothers, they want to burn their mother because she is a witch. Well, I wanted to pass, but something inside me encouraged me that I should go inside and talk to them. So I jointly went in and met a crowd of people, and this boy was having a gallon mixed with petrol and kerosene, so with a match in his hand. So when I entered inside, I took up this picture and this anointed water. I told them, please wait. Don't do what you want to do. I have a miracle to tell you, and I will take you there to the synagogue church of all nations. Okay, let's hear from the brother. Petro. My name is Inko Philip. I come from Cameroon. This is my mother. This is my brother. This is my stepmother. We were six of us. Four have died. Out of these four, they die in every November. So when these four people died, we were so disturbed. Each time they died, we go and verify from Hebalis. Hebalis tells us that it is my mother who has caused the death of all the four people. The first one was a man. He was sleeping. In the morning, he told us that he had a dream that about six people came to him 
with their faces tied with black pieces of cloth, with sticks in their hand, they hit him on his back, hit him all over, until he is broken and dislocated. So he is finished. He died. When the Hembalis uh, claims that it is my mother. Next November was my sister. She was sick. While on her, uh, on her sick bed, she was crying that mother, leave me, mother, leave me. When she died, we went to Herbalist. Herbalist told her it is my mother who is responsible for her death. Next was the daughter of my sister. She died in November. She was very, very sick. Before her death, she was crying, mama, mama, mama. Finally, she died. Who was the mama, mama, mama he was? Ma, mama, this is my mama. So what do you think was the reason why he was calling mama, mama, mama? I believe that she was calling mama because I believe mama was involved in a secret society, as her have been telling us. OK, how many places you people have been to? And what? they confirm that mama is a witch. More than seven places, they always call my mother's name, that she's the one responsible for all their death. The fourth one, he was a man, a caterera. He died in November. Now, you, who is mama? For myself, man of God, he's a witch. Okay, that uh, petrol and matches, what do you want to use it for? I went there to burn her, we eat, set fire in the house, tie her in the house, leave her in the house. Everybody told me that I was going to die in this November. We cannot keep on dying, man. My mother keep on uh, okay. living. Okay, Abadi said you will die this November. This November. Does Abadi say you should kill her? No, Abadi did not tell me to kill her. We decided with my family that we shall kill her. Okay, the whole family decided that they should kill her. Yes. Okay. Now we are in the presence of God and we want to know the truth. Madam, I want to say thank you very much. Can you tell us at what stage you met them before you quickly begged them not to bomb mama? She was really at the stage of surrendering herself when those children had caught her and I entered and begged them. And they listened to my petition looking at this picture I showed them of the miracle that happened to me in the synagogue. Tell us the miracle that happened to you. Really, I came here two months ago and I had the picture of my daughter who had collapsed in France. She was not talking. Then I told the husband that, wait, I know where I will relieve my daughter. So I came here to the synagogue two months ago, took this anointed water back to my country. And when I reached my country, I sent it to her. I called the husband, since she was not talking. I said, go to the hospital, deliver my daughter with this anointed water in France. He went. So this is the testimony you told them? Yes, I really told them that. I said they should come. Thank you. OK, how did they get money? Well, I personally told them that I will provide my transport, but Mama should look for transport. See, she is the one who is accused. She said she was going to borrow money at all costs, and she did. I want them to listen to me. They worship idol. Momo is as bad as you, and you is as bad as Momo. The people are without Jesus. Momo is not a wish. Be on your knee, be on your knee. You beg your mom. So whatever trouble you have, I will not allow you people to go I will pray for you. The home will be at peace. Amen. But this woman is not a wish. You are an idol worshiper. Idol worshiper. Idol worshiper. Idol worshiper. Forgive me, Mama. I will not do that again. Mama, forgive us. I will not do that again. Mama, forgive us. Forgive us. I beg, Mama, forgive me. Mama, you have to forgive them because you too, like I have said, idol worshiper, idol worshiper, idol worshiper, idol worshiper. If you want God to forgive you, you have to forgive you. I don't forget them. Now my picking were born them. Four they don't die, two they remain. I didn't work anything now only for them. And two they call me wish. I didn't suffer and said, therefore, yes, so I did not only for bed for bed. You. 
What you say that you will die this November, it is motor accident that will have killed you. There is gods of iron among the gods in people worship. Gods of iron is those putting iron cutlass and put palm oil to worship. So it is no more that is killing them. This is how you people are brought up. Remember your grandfather was an idol worshiper, a witch doctor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I forgive one today. Thank you, Jesus. I forgive one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.